what role will standards play in IoT security going forward? Are standards such as the NIST 8259 likely to be widely accepted, used worldwide and or outside US government contracts? And are there other standards which are, which are relevant or likely to be widely adopted as IoT device standards? Of course, uh, in Boulder, we have the National Institute's Institute of Standards and Technology, which really looks at uh, these things for, for all industries. So uh, I would toss that open to the panel on uh, what role standards will play. So I worked in some IoT standards. I'm on the UL's 2600, which is a uh, international standard for connected devices. But it's like the classic XKCD, where there's uh, like X standards and then there's always another one. Uh, so uh, NIST outside the federal government, I'm not sure, I'm a little cynical on how well that would be picked up internationally. Like the ISO, IEC ones tend to do better internationally. But um, ARM, for example, has the ARM platform security architecture, which is relatively new. Uh, that is both geared to chip manufacturers, but there's an application thing for the product. And I, I think there's people doing them. I don't, I, there's never gonna be one standard. I, I don't, I'm totally skeptical there's gonna be one standard that wins out, um, but I would probably put money that it wouldn't be a NIST one. Yeah, I, I would say to the extent standards win out, they're gonna win out on a per industry basis. And I think they're gonna be per industry specific. So. It wouldn't surprise me to see all the smart thermostat manufacturers coming together and forming some sort of standard. Um, I agree with Josh. My, I completely agree on this on the NIST <laughs> thoughts about NIST. But um, ultimately, standards are going to security is going to become important if buyers demand that it be important. Um, to date, uh, buyers have been largely uh, kind of don't care too much about it, and that's why you've got millions of you know video IP connected video cameras out there that are supposedly supposedly you know, CCTV type security cameras and they're leaking information like crazy just because nobody, none of the buyers have ever made it a priority. And so the manufacturers haven't either. Now, you know, hopefully things will get better in the future. And if buyers start to demand that products adhere to security standards and security certifications, uh, you know, then the market would work, I would think. Trent. Uh, you know, a couple of thoughts. One is that the NIST standards from a technical quality perspective are outstanding. I, I, I love the, the way they're written and the thoroughness. Um, but I, I have to, uh, I think, agree with Josh and Howdy about uh, adoption. The problem with the NIST standards is that they smell like America. And so for non-American entities, uh, especially right now, um, they're not always attractive. Um, I, you know, I have seen some traction around ISO 27030, which is a non-published current draft standard for IoT security uh, is very similar to the NIST standard. Um, and, and that is a way that NIST influences the industry in that I, I do think we see uh, concepts from NIST replicated in other international standards. But yeah, I don't see NIST being adopted outside of the US. 